Hi, welcome to Math with Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom, and today we're going to return to our example of how of the four fundamental spaces and their orthogonality. Well, I have in front of me this example that we constructed, and we constructed this from the matrix A equals 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0. Okay, so notice that this, I'm going to just read this off. It's, I have the first notice that the column space of A transpose and the null space of A form a basis for Rn, or R2 in this example. And similarly, that the left null space and the column space of A form a basis for Rm, or R3 in this case. Well, in other words, what this is telling me is something rather interesting. If I want some x, and I'm going to just pick an x, I'm going to pick an x. For example, let's pick the x. I don't want one on the line. No, no, no. Let's pick one that's off the line. Maybe, let's do this. I'm not even sure where this is going to land. One, two. Oh, let's just try that. What about this? What about this vector right here? This is the vector 2, 1. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to write, this is our goal now, is write, write x as a linear combination as a linear combination of the basis of the basis for R2. And remember, the basis is the column space and the null space. So in other words, x is going to equal some x vector from the row space plus some x vector from the null space. Let's see what we can do. I want to re let's remember what they were. We said that x in the row space is, well, the row space is that orange line, and that was defined by the vector 1, 2. So the row space really is just, is just a linear combination of a times uh, 1, 2. Okay, and look at our null space, xn. Our, our null space is just, that's the row space, the null space, yep. And the null space is some linear combination of um, b, we'll call it b, times, what do we have? Minus 2, 1. Minus 2, 1. Okay. So, in other words, what we want to do is we want to write the vector 2, 1 as a linear combination of something in the row space plus something in the null space. Well, we have that. So um, our xr, we just said, is the vector. Uh, it's some a times the vector of 1, 2, plus the vector b times minus 2, 1. Well, I'm going to rewrite this as um, the vector a and 2a plus the vector of minus 2b and b. Okay, and look at what we have. This is, if I look at the left, the vector 2, 1, then I look at what I have on the right, I just have a simple system of equations. In other words, 2 has to equal a minus 2b, and 1 has to equal 2a, 2a uh, plus b. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's just do a little. Uh, let's do a little linear algebra here, and let's just think of this as a matrix. And we're going to take row two. I'm going to work on row two by subtracting, by subtracting two row ones. All right. So that's going to be a one. 1 minus 4 is a minus 3. And then a 2a minus a 2a, that's going to be a 0. And then I'm going to have a b plus 4b, so that's going to be plus 5b. So in other words, 
B is negative 3 fifths. Well, now we can find A. So let's find A. So this is going to be 2 equals A minus 2 times negative 3 fifths. So this is going to be um, an A plus 6 fifths. A plus 6 fifths. Yep, and then we're gonna move that over to the other side, and two is really 10 fifths. So let's go 10 fifths minus six fifths. So that's four fifths. Okay, and we have just enough room to write our solution. Here we go. So our vector x is a linear combination of the vector, let's see, a is four fifths, so that's gonna be four fifths, and then two times four fifths, that's eight, eight fifths. That's the vector in the row space, the vector in the row space, plus the vector in the null space. Well, the vector in the null space is the b, so b was negative three fifths, so this is going to be the vector of six fifths and minus three fifths. Okay, and that is how we can write the vector x as a linear combination of a basis formed by the row space and the null space. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.